Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 13 with our Oathbreaker Paladin. Actually, I I'm not even sure that we're gonna be an Oathbreaker uh, for the rest of it because, well, I got like a lot of builds uh, planned for this for this whole series. We're gonna we're gonna get doing a lot of things, and yeah, who knows? Uh. Well, first of all, the mushroom people of last episode. Before getting there, I would like to explore this area a little bit. Uh, I just realized we all have the people. Scratch. I don't know if that's going to be very useful. He's 5 HP. Anyway, so yeah, I just want to get to explore this area a little bit. We've got something down there. And I guess I'm going to take Will off and see what's going on here. I made it too obvious, didn't I? Of course there's something happening here. That's why we're gonna go see. So, oh guys, I'm... <laughs> why is there not to save? Let's pick this up. Oh... Well, yeah, it's the... Um, it's the bug, the worm. That's something that was following us. So, let's see. Heading we can do this. And... Well, we cannot jump anymore. So yeah, let's see. If we manage to... Stay safe from that. The dog can jump. Right? Yeah. Let's see. There it is. This is what was uh, knocking us down. The whole thing. The... Uh, Ballet, brother sort of the dark, but he has a lot of strength. Very well then, let's see. Uh, yeah, scratch is not gonna last very long against this thing. He misses. Oh, lucky boy. Oh, these guys are too far away. Oh, and yeah. We did not rest or anything, so... There's a lot of things that we're lacking. Total Firewolf. Hey, critical. Not bad. Have to keep going. Battle favors the fearless. Okay, Will. He also doesn't have much. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't have enough movement for that. I will ascend. Mm. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Now that's very little. I don't know if I can do the... Oh yeah, I don't have it because of the short rest, guys. That's too bad. Uh, is this gonna work on... It did. Got a lot of HP. Where do I go from here? Thing with my... Paladin's not really... Okay, let's see if I can tank a little bit. And let's get this. Okay. Come on, boy. Is he gonna kill the dog? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's got a lot of strength. Uh, I probably should. Uh, do that. And. Do it again. 
Nah, that one needs a melee thing. Well, yeah, fireball. Brilliant. Let's just do the blast. And this. Missed it. Oh, yeah, by the way. I gave that sword to uh, Lysel, and uh, if it's in the last episode, I might I, I might have not show that. It's two HP. Another fight. Let's go. Uh, there we are. So yeah, I apologize, guys. Uh, I realize. I might have not shown that I that's not what I meant to do. Better than nothing. But yeah, in this area when we when we just got here, there was the sword, uh, a drow sword. I think it's here, around here. And that's what Play Cells using now. And I think it has like a song or something and yeah, I have not used that yet. We should see. Uh, the source sings a melody. All allies within six meters of range have a bonus to attack rolls and charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. So yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, let's group it again. Never a dull moment. Uh, let's see what this guy has. Um, when an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. And it's, uh, it's clothing, I think. Well, it's armor, but it might, it might work for Karlak. That's cool. Uh, let's pick everything up. We're gonna end up uh, selling probably. But yeah. This is, uh, once again, the beginning of a new, a new area of exploration. So, as told before, this might be a, just like back in the Goblin Camp first episode, this might be like a setup episode. So down here we see we corpses. got a lot of corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Is that Dwergar uh, dwarfs? So dwarfs from the Underdark. Quite clearly. What is this? Oh, it's the uh, stuff for the. Oh, so if you succeed the throw, it gives you the thing. But otherwise, I guess it will not give it to you. I've gone encumbered. So there is a lot of stuff that I should just throw away. Uh, antidote. Holy water. What's that for? So I'm just gonna send this to the world, and to the camp, and I think all of this also. Mm. What do we got left? We got elixir of poison resistance. Did I have an elixir? Hold on real quick. I apologize. There's a reason why I don't throw just everything. So just let's, uh, let me check that I didn't send something in particular. Here. It would seem I did not. Oh, I, I'm gonna take this one for Lysel, actually.
and I'm gonna take this one as well. For a reason, really. So, let's send this one to the chest. And this one we are going to wear. Why? As a reminder, guys, as a reminder of my atrocities. We have to keep it close. But, anyway. We got a lot of things to pick up here for the alchemies and whatnot. A camp looks abandoned. Yeah, an abandoned camp. We might check that out, but not just yet. As I said, this is a, this is a, uh, the beginning, the beginning of yet another area with lots of stuff to do. So. Let's go and check on the mushroom people. Let's see what we make of it. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. There we are. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign. She has right. come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. So it seems like they are some sort of uh, hive, hive mind. Sort of like a collective mind, um, yeah, like a collective mind or some something like that. They have the fo the the silver. Let's see. Stay your purpose. Uh, we got a lot of charisma. Let's do that. I am a traveler seeking adventure. We have to abuse this, uh, abuse the charisma every now and then. I think. Um, by the way, guys, I changed the um, the audio, so let me know how it sounds better or worse than before. Let me know. Please let me know, like, you know, turn the game down or turn your voice down sort of thing. Uh, I would really appreciate that. But, yeah, let's get going. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Very well. The sovereign expects us, guys. We are gonna go see him as an auto safe. Look, this is a Dwergar Spore Serpent. So this uh, is like one of the dead Dwergar we saw down there. And they are turning them into one of them. See, there's many of them. That is some funky cloud. Look. That's what he's doing with them. What is the creature doing to the... the sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. All right. A vision grips you. Dwega. Dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. 
The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. So they were following we someone. That. Better than picking this fight, surely. Uh why did this uh Dwergar attack? Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. All right, so they have a, uh, a fugitive gnome. You harbor a fugitive gnome, admirable of you. Forget it. If you want them dead, in yourself. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. The sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Um. Okay then. Yeah, let's do that. An illusion comes over you. And if Will approves, means that the Dwarves are actually bad people, right? Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic. Alright, we got that. Cleanse the rot and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Very well. This is the this is the gnome they are um Oh you see? He's uh, turning them back into uh, mushrooms. Don't. Oh, failed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Dwega. Uh, slashed me. Uh, poison. Um Well, since we have this one, then we can give her Well, yeah, since we have this one, let's uh let's use it, see how it goes. I assume it was not going to be an easy throw. Oh my god, just... Like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate bruise. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Mm, we can hear this thing, I think. I mean, let's see. It. Why are you helping me? You're a drow. Again with this stud. Okay, let's see. Uh, I actually never talked about this. Maybe I should address it. Let's let's uh, read it. So, survivors of Loth's treachery against Coral Lerethian. So if I'm mispronouncing these names, it's pretty difficult. Soldarin Drow live in a scattered collection of underdark city states, warring with each other as often as the Spider Queen's cult. Many of these Drow travel to the surface in search of aid, seeking to reunite their shattered people at any cost. So yeah, I mean we could do that, let's see, the reaction. We haven't done much of the Drow choices, uh, but yeah, there is that as well. 
Now I know. I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh. <clears throat> it hurts. Girls, garters. Oh. Every time we I do something time good, Shadowheart is in pain. Mm? Well, what does that tell you? Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's help. Take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right, I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. And, uh, of course, I mean, yeah, let's see, yeah, let's see, uh, ask a few things. What was this expedition uh, your clan were on? Just mining for materials, nothing unusual, but our work pays well. Oh, Help again, my clan and we'll make it worth your while. I swear, something, uh, something we're missing here. But yeah, we already we already compromised for this. I'll free your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. <sighs> I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwerger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Well, we saved her life, so should be all right. Boots of speed. Let's see. Ah, uh, feather lace and flexible of soul. Those boots have been used to run up and, and outrun many a foe. Well, it gives you the 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 dash, I think, without using the. The action, maybe. But yeah, that that's the sovereign, and this is sort of like a collective uh, hive, sort of mind. But let's see what we got around. Uh, I cannot pick those up. It's stealing, apparently. Yeah, it's everything on red. Oh, the spores. There is something over there. I think. It's a nox. Oh. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. You hail from the dark. Yet far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Of home. Um, let's see. Make up the kind of tre treasure memories you expect the same to feel. And then have a home. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is Dark Arch stuff. We're not gonna do that. Oathbreaker, remember the oath you saw and why you broke it? Now nah, let's just do this. Uh, it's the less um, dubious, I think. It mourns, moved by your emptiness. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwergar destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I ah. heard the song. You All right, need then. to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I need to join you. He wants to go on with me. 
So I see what happens here is that he is another sovereign from another circle. And they no longer exist because of the Dwergar. Uh, so he's gonna help us. Yeah, let's uh, let him join. We'll see how this goes. Well, actually, let's um, let's go back because there is a a trader around somewhere here. So let's see what he's got. I don't quite remember. Ah, uh, there it is. And guys, attention because interesting twist with this guy. Uh, Blurg. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. Oh, he's got a tadpole. connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> Or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Oh. Mm. I've never heard the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Our kind has suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Myconids? Um... A mind flayer affected me with a tadpole. Well, he's got one as well. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Uh, that's none of your business. I mean, he's got a tadpole, doesn't he? Like, let's let's carry on with this. Let's see where we where we can get. You were infected by an illicit tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. But what about him? Be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Friend. Oh, I hope this is important. Lord. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. The fucking no friend, Lawhall, dude. That's impossible, <laughs> but intriguing. The fucking mind player. Looking to have it extracted. What Please. the hell? Your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. My species has terrorized the Underdark for countless generations. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. Alright, nobody's in shock in the party because there is a freaking mind flayer. Um, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, the Myconids wouldn't appreciate us fighting here. I, I will listen. Fool! You betray the very reason you were hatched into this plane. I Calm down. Calm down. From violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. 
If that settles well. matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Oh. Let us see what lurks within. Do we want to do this? Uh. I mean, we come this far. As the mellow one's mind what the hell? yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. So this is the same thing that uh, Halsing told us that this larva it's in, it, it's got some sort of weird magic. So, uh, yeah, C can you extract the tadpole? No, it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Moreover, the cranium has undergone severe trauma. It is a miracle the brain functions at all. Extraction would risk much. It seems like our tadpole is uh, invulnerable to all threats, physical or magical. <laughs> uh... How severe? I have healing magic. That's the paladin thing. I intend no disrespect, but one can only heal so much of their own brain tissue. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Tell him, uh, Omelon. I don't really know how to pronounce that. I don't think I heard it. Uh, so tell him about the strange mind flare ship you were on. Yeah. A Nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our Where does it come from then? During the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled. And ended our dominion. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who, where does he come from? Like, why is he here? That's that's odd. But yeah, thanks for the info. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh dear. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Hmm. Bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Very well. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. Mm. Where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Um... Where does this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although, 
her tower does have a tendency to move. Ah, uh, it. Okay. <laughs> I come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. So. As explained before, this guy is a, uh, a trader. So, who's got more charisma? Uh, but at such an accelerated rate, it simply shouldn't be possible. I think I do. No, will does. Defender of the people. So let's talk to him. That is because uh, pr prices change because of that. Uh, never seen like a goblin like you before. Oh yeah, he he's a hog, uh, hog goblin, just like um, what's his face, Raxling, we killed in the in the goblin camp. Yeah, trade I please. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking, trade please. Uh oh, he has a few things so. Magical powers only function if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight or is a Warlock Pact weapon. Oh, so. How much? Okay, so we might want to buy this. And. Uh, remember how we changed Will? We changed him. So, we want to change him back <laughs> to what he was before. Quite possibly. But yeah, he has a few things that are cool. Uh, Scorching Ray. That might be cool. Because it's an object uh, spell, so we will have a second Scorching Ray with Whale, maybe. The war against lightning charges. So, wait, how much am I talking about? A thousand? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it does seem pretty good. I mean, all of this additional dart whenever you you cast magic missile. Another one. How much is that? I mean, guys, it's not that I have a... It's not that I have a, a problem spending money, but... All of this is actually... Useful right away. You know what I mean? Hmm... Really don't know if I can sell uh, something else I got. Mm. Shadowheart is not going to use this. <laughs> you were not expecting this one, huh? A thousand plus gold for the whole shebang. Okay, yeah, why not? So all my wares, but I guess they were all they were all um, scrolls and whatnot. So yeah, well, we wasted uh, quite a lot of money. We spent very well. I have mushrooms. Quite a lot of money. So let's see first. Uh, some of the things I said I did and I didn't do it. I have. I brought this for myself actually. Oh god, it's so ugly. Let's hide it. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
find the key soon enough. We got uh, this thing and da -da 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 -da. yeah, this one as well for Will. Because now we got two scorching rays like that. And I'm gonna change that for the actual ritual dagger. Did you look at that. Have you spoken with Scris lately? Oh yeah. Yes. She is cataloging corn to and fertility rituals. Yeah, let's give him this one as well. Oh. Well, so, after I finish my research here, I'll join her. Yeah, uh, Lisa is not wearing anything. But to be honest, there is not much that I could give to her now. Now let's leave it like that. Maybe I need to get her some boots, though. Mm. As for Shadowheart, I'm gonna give her this one. And we're gonna be building towards that um, lining build. Obviously, we still make no physical damage whatsoever with this, but don't worry, we'll look into that. Blood. No, never mind. We'll look into that. As I said, it's quite probable that this is gonna be like this a, a sort of a setup episode. And uh, don't worry. I'll try and do all of it quite quick, uh, <laughs> quick as I can. This is a halfling, is she not? It's a it's dwarf. A drow. Play nice, or these shrooms will be on you in a flash. Now, doubt you'd care to notice, but All you right. didn't see a dwarf on your travels, did you? Balin's his name. Balin. Haven't seen him. Not really. Another dwarf. Right. Never mind. Uh... Need some help finding this guy? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Mm. Oh, she's a trader as well. What does he look like? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. Uh, well, who is it to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Okay. Yeah, sh uh, let's see the words. What has she got? Uh, da -da 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 -da. No. This is animal speaking. No, it just die. Oh, this is actually good. Bloody hell. Hmm, guys. This is not good. <laughs> so... Oh, where is he? I've, I lost it now. Here it is. <laughs> I should have picked up more rubbish from the dead dweller. I got nothing. Oh, 
okay yeah uh, ouch so <laughs> we're gonna put that on lace now she's got uh one healing for the whole group or like in area and one for herself so yeah it's not bad well it it's a good it's item bad as it could have. so we got the uh what do you call it can i pick this up oh yeah we are no longer stealing actually real quick Ah, more money to be spent. More money to be thrown away. We will. We are gonna talk to with us real quick. Spins along. Does thou require a new ally? As thou desire. We are gonna change him back because. Uh, well, because of the weapon. You'll see how it is. So warlock. Uh. I don't know. Wait. Yeah, the fiend. Uh, I'm gonna take this one off and I'm gonna put the hex. As for this. Like that, maybe? Yeah, let's do that real quick and let's level him up. Oh. My bad. Where am I needed? So, level 2, let's do... Um, this one. Hey there. Uh, this we're gonna leave it as usual. A uh, nice in blast and the uh, repelling uh, blast. And let's uh, leave it like that. Here we want to pick the scorching ray. You know, it's pretty much leaving it, leaving him as it was, but but we're gonna take this the back to the blade, so we can use the weapon. You'll see how it, uh, you, you're gonna see how it works. Um, wait, did I have cantrip? Oh, because no, it's a level four. I forgot. Apologies. We're gonna be doing builds like uh, uh, back and forth, guys. Like this is uh, that's one of the things that's gonna happen. Maybe we are not gonna be an oathbreaker forever, you know. I'm not saying I'm gonna change it, but I'm also not saying I might not change it. Uh, bone chill there, and I think, guys, I think I wanna go with mirror image. This time, now. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Charisma 18, Constitution 16. Remember the pair of numbers? It's what it's what actually scales. And level 5 when we get the extra hit. Uh. Let's just go with a fireball. Nice and easy. And... Ah, the, fi the finish vigor. Just real quick. Quicker as I could, guys. Apologies. 
And yeah, let's uh, now that we're here, let's rest because uh, we are actually we don't have short rest, and we are actually uh, pretty fucked up. Do you uh, want to end the day? Yes. You carry a Githyanki oh. relic. I will have an explanation, or your head. Walk away now. Oh my God, this too. I will warn you again. This too. Uh, stop squabbling, both of you. Yeah, let's stay the ground. Remove yourself if you are so easily offended. This is not your concern. Nonsense. Darling, please. You're just finally showing us what you really are. A reaver to the bone. Spare your indignity. Every word that spills from your mouth is worth less than the last. God bless. Uh, again, stop this. No sense in us fighting with each other. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this tripe? Oh, God. Our lives are at stake and she <laughs> wants us to turn on each other. Uh. No others, just you and me. Well, I suppose Lysel is sort of like my my wife or something now. What is it? I, I, I suppose I have to... I'm gonna have to defend her or something. What's this even about? Lysel thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. Well, yeah, the artifact supposedly it's a Githyanki thing. Uh, but, you know, we might lose a party member here if we do the wrong choice. Any ideas how we settle this? The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. God damn it. <laughs> Get some rest, Lazel. You'll need it. Ah, oh, God. You had every chance to look the other way. God. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't have the persuasion check. Yep. So, do nothing and... Uh, I think she can actually kill her, by the way, if you do nothing. Uh, so, it's basically kill Lysel. Uh, attack Shadow Heart, probably she leaves. But obviously, we wanna... I'm gonna stop this now. Let's go. She's a liability. It's the artifact. And we got her approval, her. meaning Let me up. Uh, she likes Let her more. You. So that's a good step forward, I would say. Uh, we need her. Give her a chance. Yes, dude. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ah, well. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Her face. Lol. Alright. Nobody wants to talk about what just happened, lads. Anyway, you can tell those two love each other or something like that. Quite an intense night last night, huh? <laughs> Nobody's gonna say anything. Anyway, get out. So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazer? Hmm. Why would 
Jedi bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor, but if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Ah, well, that seems like a step forward. Anyway, we talked with the dwarf uh, woman. Told us about her husband, so we're gonna go look for him. I do know where he is, so we're gonna go take a look. I'm gonna show you a few things around. Uh, there is a hole here. I actually don't know what this is about. Uh, hello. Echoes as it plunges downward before gradually fading away. I got no idea what this is about. Oh, maybe it's because we uh, we already killed the 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 worm thing, the bug. Yeah. Okay. Trees and ridges here, still fresh. The marks of a monster. Hmm. Well, you see those uh, those thingies over there? Well, those explode and create a chain reaction, just so you know. Obviously, I already know this, so we're gonna avoid... Just... Yo, chill! These two are already... Uh, a couple, Lacell is uh, basically cheating on me right now. Stop with the flirting, alright. Yeah, let's just get uh, popping this. We don't want to get the bane or whatever that is. Damn, this one's still. Right. Just waiting a little bit. Oh, and you see down there? Look at that. Freaking minefield, dude. Look at that. Is this gonna <laughs> fade at some point? Hey, don't get too close. What is this? Skull? It's a small skull. It's not even dwarf size. Anyway, that it's over. Let's pick this up. Attention to this plant here, lads. This sensation. This bright These blue flower picked from a, from a uh, budding sorcery tree exudes a honey sweet aroma which turns foul and eventually fades away if the blossom is exposed to sunlight. So this thing, what it does, it's, um, it, well, as it says, it sucks the magic. Oh, there is a, there is a, there is a bug out there. Yeah, there is something there. Anyway. And let's go down because here, lads, we got some things to do. Let's pick this up. And we are pro I'm probably should take Lysel because she is the one that jumps the hardest. But look at that. It's insane. Stop! Stop! That's the bold dwarf. You recognize the name. Bibabang, a mushroom that releases dangerous spores. Highly flammable. Uh, this is quite a predicament you landed yourself in. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Do you, do you, do you guys find something weird about the way he's talking, or is it just me? Uh, yeah, hold, hold tight, I'll find your back. Thank you, thank you. 
very well so guys these things is uh just the things that i popped back up there as you can see if you get close this thing are gonna explode and obviously it's gonna create a massive chain reaction so i want to show you how uh, i'm gonna do it you can do it whatever way you want like you have the misty step and and whatnot so that is the backpack oh the yeah whatever so we're gonna go and get it for that i am going to do some base mode i'm going to dash I don't have enough movement, it says. Yes, of course I have. What the hell? You see, it has... It, it had a scroll of Misty Step there. So... I'm gonna do that. And... Yeah. So now we have the scroll, we can give it to him. Uh, just a little moment. Oh, yeah, there it is. And I'm gonna just jump over here. Careful. And I'm gonna speak to him. My back, please. Uh, holds up a scroll of misty step. Yes, that's yes. Uh, <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'll fetch you uh, your bag instead. Damn. We can bribe him. We can keep it to ourselves and leave it to his luck. Guys, you can do this whatever, you, uh, however you want. Like, you can just uh, kill him with, the, with, with all the spores and loot him afterwards, whatever. But yeah, we're just gonna do that, the, the right thing. Hey, yeah, she's smiling. What the hell? I just have to... And then... Here! So yeah. There he goes. And you guys see that? Noble stalk. So we're gonna go and check what that is. Let's do this. Let's do Entirely sure. Githian key jump. We pick this up and I don't have more things, so I'm gonna place myself here. <laughs> and here we go a few things so we're gonna go and, and take a look and if we take the the, the turn base mode off like you see you just have to wait until that clock goes uh like that. So, I'm gonna do it again. And we're gonna pick these things up. Which I don't really know what they are. Lol's candle? Oh, because I don't have enough yet. Yep. Just gonna pick everything up. Why not? Those weird, those weird candles. Uh, smell so red. Don't know what that is. Protein basket. Uh, yeah, nothing else. We got this.
Go here. That guy has not uh, gone off yet. I don't know why. Okay, so what can I do? I can do the mystery step. No, I didn't mean to... To do Misty Step? I mean, to do turn base. Why? I think this thing bugged. Why is he not moving? Ah, right, as... Uh... What were you saying? He's not... He, he's not... Feeling well, right? Uh, the way I see you, Omi. What are you doing down here? I, I was looking for... Dereth. She's... She'll be worried sick. I must... Need to go. Well... For you. Your trouble. She wasn't very... She wasn't missing you too much, to be completely honest. Guys, why... Why am I moving like this? Okay, guys. Yeah, I did a little cut. So, I have two playthroughs beside this one, just so you know. And I didn't know you could do this. What the hell? How did I not do it? Like, now I can show you the shit that I wasn't able to show you. Well, we made a discovery, didn't we? I mean, in console, it's just way better to play like this, quite frankly. But yeah. We did the we did the thing where we saved the the dwarf. Now, before anything, uh, well, yeah, let's go. Let's go back. In this area, guys, there's a lot of things to to to, to be done. Remember that we are halfway uh, through Act One. Just so you make yourself an idea of how how this series is going to be. Yeah, remember that we are halfway through Act 1. And just like at the beginning of the series, when we had like a... Or whenever we would um, discover area just like we do now. Well, before, before continuing, let's see what this is about. Like, let's see how they are doing. Because I just got him back. Now what's the deal? Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Ah. Uh, well, it's a miracle he survived, yes. You should take him home. Please. Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Uh, this is dangerous territory. You must be down here for a reason. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. That is the thing we, we just picked up. Gate. The locals go mad for it. Uh, what makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Uh, show her the noble stock. Yeah, okay. Ah, to no surprise of mine, you're more competent than Balin. Go on then. She Don't really doesn't her. like him, does she? She really doesn't like the guy. Uh, keep it to yourself. So, guys, so you, just so you know, this uh, this sort of thing, I don't really mind telling you because we're not gonna see it. Um, you can keep it 
you can give it to Shadowheart for example and we will unravel some of her memories uh, yeah let's see what will you do with it sell it what else worth more than its weight in gold to folk back in Baldur's Gate there ain't much you can't cure how much is it worth to you Uh, I mean, guys, I don't know what, what we're going to do. Like, we could keep it. Wait, please. I need this. Okay, why do you need it so badly? Let's see. Me? I run a shop called Bone Cloaks in Baldur's Gate. Valen nearly sunk the shop to pay for a drink. When he was of his own mind, if I can put noble stock on the shelves, it might he was of his own mind. A little longer. So he's senile. Loads. But I haven't got anything to offer for it. So I'm the guy, the, for that. the guy is kind of senile then. Uh, then. Yeah, let's give it to her. I thank you. Truly, I do. But if the guy is senile, why? Is she Come sending visit him? Me in Baldur's Gate if you find yourself that way. Might be I can repay your kindness. You take care out here. Oh, I'm well close. Uh, but I want to see if I can if I can get any other line of dialogue. We'll be clearing out soon enough. No point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Very well. But yeah, this guy doesn't seem like in his. Uh, right mind let's check the clothes uh, the world deals an additional damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons okay so guys something we're going to do Quite sadly, we are going to bench Lacell for Karlak again. Back and forth, it seems. And I'm gonna tell you why. Speak quickly. Ah. Uh, are you sure that's the best course of action? Hey, she's being more civil with me. Uh, I'll fetch you when the time is right. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Very well. And let's get Karlak. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Ah, she's too sweet. Uh, come on. Let's go, go, go. Now, the Let's thing is, guys, we're going to go to Withers, wherever he is, where was he? It was not that way. Because I put this here. Is it this one? No. Didn't I? No one back home will ever believe. This. Might be wrong. Ah, there it is. Yeah, when an enemy damages the wearer, uh, gains wrath for one turn. We're gonna give gonna this to Karlak. There we go. We're gonna give her, I mean, she has this, right? Yep. And I give her this, look. Deals an additional damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. And I give her that as well. And... And we're gonna go to uh, Withers. 
which I forgot where he was. Ah, oh, it's there. Be and you will see why. Yeah, it's gonna make sense. We're not gonna change too much, so we're gonna go berserk. I mean, yeah, barbarian. Uh, I'm going to take wisdom. And I put dexterity. Yeah. It doesn't really matter if I have like less um, constitution, you know, it's whatever. Uh... Well, yeah, let's leave it like that. Constitution 15, next 30, 14, yeah. And... Yeah, this is all right. Let's do it like that. And on, let's level let's up. Go. Level 2. Level 3, here's where we change the this Berserker. I want to put the Berserker because we got the Enraged Throw, basically. And obviously Frenzy and Frenzy is the strike. Level 4, we're going to get... Instead of getting the ability improvement, guys, which we can actually have uh, one point, we're gonna put it on strength 18. But here we're gonna do Tavern Brawler. When you make an unarmed attack, use an improvised weapon or throw something, your strength modifier is added twice to the damage and attack rolls. Right, and we're gonna put this one here. Doesn't really matter right now that we got 15 constitution, but yeah, it's cool. 18 strength. And the extra attack. Level 5. And I'm gonna give you a little taste of what this is with Will. Okay, Will. <laughs> Poor Will, man. So, guys. We got this one. This uh, clothing, the boots of the wrath, and these gloves that gives us a bonus on throws, on uh, throwing objects. We got the ring, and obviously the returning pike. What I'm talking about is this, guys. Look at Will, 43 HP. I'm gonna do throw. I'm gonna pick the returning pike. Look at the damage. It wasn't all what I expected, but it's quite it's quite good, isn't it? I actually think I'm missing something. Not entirely sure. I mean it's still really good, like I I can kill this guy in two throws, you know? Oh, and by the way, sorry, Will. <laughs> but yeah, guys. As you can see. Um, a lot of setup in this episode. But worry not. We are going to... Well, well, there is a lot of things that we're going to do. Obviously. And next episode. Not to hype it up and then or anything. But when we're going to the Dwergar... Uh, camp, the camp that that's abandoned. We are going to find the best item in the game. You heard it right? Best item in the game, and I am not, I am not hyping it up just for the views. <laughs> but yeah, 
stay tuned. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. A uh, shorter episode than what I was getting used to, and probably the first couple of episodes of this of this second half uh, of Act One will be the same. This and the next one, but it is what it takes. I I think I make a good um, good sort of. Um, uh, timing when it comes to that but yeah thank you once again really appreciate it remember comment like subscribe please we are five subscribers currently and uh, to get the hundred and i'll see you next one thank you so much see ya